And Rico, let's end Newsday with a bit of a wake-up call. What is it? And there it is. No, that's not the sound of Rico getting ready before going on air. It's actually the that's loudest not me. bird. It's not you. It's the loudest bird in the world. There it goes again. That's according to scientists. Um, the white bell bird, that's its name, has a mating call which reaches a peak of 113 decibels, which, that's the science bit, is actually as loud as a plane taking off. But don't fear because uh, you shouldn't hear it unless you live in the Amazon. From Rico, from me, we won't screech again. Thanks for watching today. Um, fancy a bit of noise? Always. Yeah. What have we got? Go oh well. L listen to this. See, to me, that sounds like a smoke alarm. That is, it's quite loud. It's a bird. It's a bird. It's the world's noisiest bird, apparently. Good wattle. <laughs> a what? That, that thing that hangs down is called a wattle. A wattle. Wattle. Spell it. Uh, I think it's a W-A-T-T-L-E. Ooh, well, I never knew that. Looks well, like a worm, bird, but it's actually a wattle. I thought it, was, it did have a twig in its mouth. Um, it's named after its bell-like call. Um, it's the white bell bird, recorded at 125 decibels. Do you want more facts? I know you like facts. Yeah, keep going. The males are white. Oh, there you go. And they're black wattle. Uh, the females are mainly green and yellow. And their party trick is that they can swallow fruit whole. I was going to say, they've got a big gob. Look at the well, size of that. Oh, do you know what? That picture, I didn't realise its mouth was open as well, its beak was open. I thought that was like its neck. Thing is, we say it can, follow, it can swallow fruit whole. Mm. Come on, we're not talking about melons here, are we? <laughs> that would be impressive, wouldn't it? It would be a plum. <laughs> and be a grape. Swallowing a plum whole, always good.